Thanks very much, Maraid, for the introduction. Hello, everyone. My name is Shelly Ann. I suppose you're here because you're interested in volunteering and you don't know where to start. Or maybe you've been volunteering for a while, but you just haven't found the right fit. I've always been passionate about volunteering myself, and my interest in volunteering led me to do my PhD research on volunteer identity and learning through volunteering. I completed my PhD research at Trinity College Dublin, and what I found was a set of active volunteer dispositions that I think are at the heart of everyone with an interest in volunteering. And I'm hoping that these next few minutes together will help you to discover your active volunteer disposition and find balance and satisfaction through volunteering. I'd like to start you on the road to Volunesia. Are you ready to come along? Let's go. Volunesia is a culturally made noun created within the Filipino vocabulary that means that moment when you forget your volunteering to help change lives because it's changing yours. To me, Volunesia is a way to describe that feeling that you get from volunteering and the reciprocal transformation that elicits the idea of a gradual change that leads to transformation. My research explored lived experiences of active volunteers in Ireland and the interpretation of the relationship between informal learning and identity through socially defined influences and experiences of family, environment, customs, and lifestyle to gain insight and understanding of volunteer identity and learning as informal learning over the life course. My research found four distinct active volunteer dispositions in which I call AVDs as volunteer leader archetypes that I will share with you shortly. But enough about that for now. What is GRA? GRA is an Irish word for love or passion. One of my research participants mentioned it during our interview and the context intrigued me. She said, we Irish have a saying, I have a gra for, which is a love or a passion for something. We should be really proud of what we do through volunteering and not be afraid of what others might think we are, that we are egotistical. Oh, I'm so great because I volunteer. But when you say, I have a gra for, people understand because it's a love for or a passion for something. It's your gra. Today, I want to talk to you about how to find your passion and satisfaction through volunteering. So, what is volunteering? I think volunteering is something that you make a voluntary conscious choice to do as an individual and of your own free will and not for monetary gain, for the service of another person, group, or organization not related to you. Volunteering is about fulfilling needs. We can all agree on that. Community organizations and charities will always have needs that they must rely on volunteers like you and me to fulfill so that they can accomplish their mission as efficiently as possible. I, sus I suspect that you're here because you're interested in possibly filling that need. But I ask you, whose needs should you focus on fulfilling first, yours or others? Most organizations are right there with their hands up, beckoning you to come help fill their need, which in fairness is what they need to do. They need you, but you need them. And that's exactly what this illustration shows. You need them, they need you. This suggestion may seem to support the idea of self-gratification. And I'm here to tell you that, well, it does. But self-gratification through volunteering is absolutely mutually reciprocal. But what about your need? Most of us have an innate desire to give of ourselves, our time, our skills, our gifts to others in some form or another. Community organizations and charities will ask you to volunteer where they have that need to fill. But I encourage you to have a think about volunteering as a way of giving to others through where your passion lies because you have a graw for something. The need is always there. It will always be there. 
Do you know what is reported as the two top reasons why people don't volunteer? One, I don't have enough time, or in other words, organized volunteer schedules are too inflexible. Or two, most volunteer roles aren't interesting to me, or in other words, volunteer roles lack meaning and purpose for me. Organizations report that volunteer turnover is a major issue. People will tell you that volunteer satisfaction is a major issue because training and retraining, as well as retaining, drains their resources that could be more efficiently used if they could just hold on to volunteers who are passionate about what they're doing and stick with it. For both groups, this means that finding the right fit is highly important. There's a need out there for anyone interested in volunteering, and my research has shown that it isn't up to a volunteer organization to find out where you fit. It's up to you to find where you fit. And finding that fit is much easier than you think it is. It just takes a bit of self-reflection and awareness of what motivates and satisfies you, putting your gras to good use. I believe that a simple exploration into the reasons why you give your time through volunteering is of utmost importance to how and who you give that time to. Volunteer disposition begins with you. So who do you think you are? Your past experiences, things you've seen, learned, and experienced. You bring with you positive and negative experiences that influence who you are and what you hope will satisfy you through volunteering. These dispositions are what makes you uniquely you as a volunteer. And if you reflect on and act accordingly and according to what you have a grow for, you'll make a powerful impact on others through volunteering and provide satisfaction for yourself that's going to impact you for years to come. So I ask again, who do you think you are? I'm going to ask you four questions. They're labeled A, B, C, and D. I want you to look at each of these statements. They're actually not questions. I want you to look at each of these four statements and think in terms of volunteering, which statement do you most identify with? Are you ready? A. I covet genuine, authentic, one-on-one -on -one relationships with others. I value teaching, learning, and sharing knowledge with others. I like to develop self-sufficiency and leader qualities in others. B, I seek meaning and purpose in my life through doing good for others, being a good person, and interacting gently with others. I like to lead with a hands-off, do-no-harm approach, and I'm willing to do what I can, when I can, if it makes others happy. C, I believe in fighting for the rights of people or causes that I believe in. Pursuing truth, justice, and championing the underprivileged is important to me, even if it means putting myself in harm's way. I will steadfastly support causes that I believe in. And finally, D, I feel a sense of duty and responsibility to help others. I'm highly organized, professional, confident in my abilities, and I appreciate working as part of a team. I can see the bigger picture and I pride myself on being a good leader. So these four statements are here in front of you. I'm gonna give you about 10 seconds to be thinking about which one you identify. Jot it down on a piece of paper so that you don't forget. And when we get to the next slide, we're gonna talk a little more about it. So hopefully you've had a, a second or two to go through and decide which one you most identify with. So which one did you identify? A, B, C, or D? These are my active volunteer dispositions. The guide, volunteer disposition is driven by the need for authentic relationships with a strong affiliation towards building and maintaining genuine relationships with others 
inclusion of others, and a desire to feel personally included is important to the guide. And they put a very high value on educating, teaching, and learning. If you selected A, you identify most closely with that of the guide disposition. The idealist. This volunteer disposition is driven by the desire for meaning and purpose in their life with a strong affiliation towards doing good for others, being a good person, and interacting gently with others. If you selected B, then you most closely identify with that of the idealist disposition. C, the champion. This volunteer disposition is, is all about passionately defending people or causes that they believe in. They are very pragmatic and they have a strong affiliation with seeking truth, justice, and rights for others. If you selected C, then you most closely identify with that of the champion disposition. And finally, the executive. This volunteer disposition is driven by a sense of duty and responsibility for others. They have a strong affiliation with being highly organized and professional leaders for others. If you selected D, you most closely identify with the executive disposition. Although I do wanna say it is important to note that sometimes these can change over time as we live and grow and mature in our lives. This is why I call them dispositions rather than types. A disposition has an air of fluidity, whereas a type often makes someone feel like they're stuck in a box. Most often, while the kind of volunteering that you do may change over time, the reasons why you volunteer don't actually change much. And this is at the heart of the active volunteer dispositions, the gras. So what kinds of volunteering do each of these um, dispositions do? Well, the guides are likely to be found volunteering and serving in roles as tutors, educators, mentors, youth leaders, counselors, mediators, or any activities in which hands-on relationships through knowledge and experience are exchanged between individuals and community. They're all about belonging and having that sense of belonging. The idealists will likely be found volunteering and serving in roles as personal carers and uh, community or social advocates, fundraising and event planning, hospice or elder care. And the champions can be found volunteering for any causes that they feel strongly about. Most likely activities that fight for social change within a society, such as political and social activists, people or animal welfare, social awareness, justice, and advocacy. And the executives can generally be found volunteering on boards and committees, working with formal organizations and administrative volunteer roles, organizing and managing other volunteers at events and volunteer activities of that nature. Remember, when considering volunteering to think about what you are passionate about rather than what specific skills or qualifications that you can bring to the role. While your skills and qualifications are handy for volunteer organizations, you need to think first about what you love. What drives you? The skills and the qualifications come second. Why? because what drives your passion and desire for volunteering is what will keep you coming back time after time and year after year. Nearly all the volunteers in my research said that when it comes right down to it, they would rather volunteer doing something that they're passionate about rather than something that they have a particular skill or qualification for. So I encourage you to download the reflection guide that I've provided for you and as well as the downloadable copy of the active volunteer dispositions, it's an information sheet uh, based on the slide I showed you earlier. There are five daily reflection questions for you to take some time and reflect on uh, where you see you think that you might best fit as a volunteer. When you're ready to take that volunteer journey, I encourage you to ask questions of the organizations that you're interested in. Refer to your reflection guide and then get involved. Always remembering that balance and passion is key to volunteer longevity. Listen to your inner disposition. 
It does not matter why you choose to volunteer. It does not matter if you give an hour of your time each week or each day. The impact will be reciprocal for others and for you. If you maximize your volunteering potential through an activity that brings you the most satisfaction, whomever or whatever you are investing your time and effort into will reap maximum benefits from that investment. You. So I ask you, what's your gra? Don't hesitate to reach out to me if you'd like to know more about the active volunteer dispositions. I hope that you enjoyed this presentation and best of luck in your future endeavors.